Welcome to Wisconsin, everybody. I'm Trevor. Tonight, we are going to be hearing from Paint and Filter Free Radio. Rodeo. Filter Free Rodeo. Oh, shut the fuck up! I'm Evan. I'm Phil. I'm Josh. Josh. <laughs> or Josh. With an A. And we're Filter Free Rodeo. All right, let's start out pretty simple. Uh, why do you pick Filter Free Radio? What does it mean to you? Well, it's, it's actually, actually rodeo. Yeah, Filter Free Rodeo. But what happened is we used to be Filter Free Radio, actually, and then we were like, oh, that sounds like a bunch of middle school kids who are like, oh, let's put something musical in our name. And then we're like, <laughs> fuck that. Filter Free Rodeo sounds like more of a party. And Josh wears cowboy hats, like, all the time, so it only made sense. That's how that happened. So yeah. how did you guys all come together? What's the story? Oh, it's a good story. Me and Phil were out in Colorado, uh, white water rafting, and we got into a bit of a pickle. Um, we fell out of our boat, and yeah, we took a dive. Yeah, and there it, Josh was. It's it was just, actually, I don't know how it happened. It's crazy. Josh used to be a um, a tour guide out in Colorado for white water rafters, and he I actually saved us. I, and then we met him. He moved out to Wisconsin with us. He plays drums pretty good. Like he's all right. So he's in the band. So you guys are from Milwaukee. Yes, sir. But you've been playing in Madison a lot lately. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel like about the two scenes, Milwaukee versus Madison? Like, How do you feel that they're different? Well, we don't like to down-talk our hometown, but we love to play in Madison. It's just a kick-ass town. People actually come out to shows like that's their idea of a good time mm -hmm. on the weekend. People come out not even knowing what they're coming to see, yeah. and then they just you know stumble upon bands like us. Everyone's drunk out of their mind. So it was a good time. Had an old lady on mushrooms at one of our shows, just <laughs> rolling around. In a wheelchair. <laughs> she didn't need a wheelchair. She was awesome. The first song you got tonight is uh, Freddie Fingers. Oh, yeah. What's the story behind this song? Whew. Well, That's Freddie, actually one of the uh, first songs we wrote, I think. And the lyrics come from pretty much Freddie Fingers is this um, guy. It's about a really bad dream you had, right? Yeah, it's, well, like, jo it, Josh was telling me about it. It's this, uh, this guy named Freddie, and... He gets real crazy with his fingers on Josh, like when he's sleeping. <laughs> so, like, the pretty much the song's about a nightmare that Josh had, and oh, that was my name. That was mine. Yeah, and yeah. Oh, <laughs> Freddie and his fingers. Freddie was tickling just, his feet and shit. It was, <laughs> so, him and it was a nightmare. Colors, actually. <laughs>
swim upstream into the high Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah Swim upstream into the high Get out of my head It's like a zoo for me One, two, three, four. I've been thinking, I've been thinking, I've been thinking about you and me. I've been drinking, I've been drinking, I've been drinking all with you and me, yeah. Give me one more chance Oh baby, give me one more dance Oh baby, give me one more dance Oh baby, give me one more dance yeah. Life is, life is Life is a stingray Life is, life is I'm uh, Alex Hickel, and I play guitar. I'm Jake Stamis, I play drums. Joe Darcy, I play bass. So you guys are called Paint. Why'd you choose that for your name? I remember it coming down to uh, poster paint. I'm not quite sure where they came from. <laughs> well, but we had like a huge problem with like coming up with a name for the band because we had so the many, original name, which yeah, was like we look up like <laughs> even when we looked up paint. There's still like 300 other paints, but like originally we were gonna be like Wolf Dick or like Cough <laughs> Beard. <laughs> Sponge Pussy was one of them too. Yeah, Sponge Pussy was like a, Sponge was a Pussy high was already candidate. taken. No, no, we just didn't know if we could get like shows or I'm sure we could have. Yeah. And I told my dad that name, and he was just like, "No, <sighs> <Yeah. laughs> son, I'm <laughs> disappointed. <laughs> We're disappointed in you." But We've been playing together since it's been like eight months now, I think. Yeah, it's been yeah, like a solid eight months. So you guys have been just playing around the Madison area mostly. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. We uh, um, a lot of bars on the east side. We did a basement show too, which was pretty cool. Yeah, that was fun. Cool. That, that was, was cool. fucking insane. Kind of a shit fest. <laughs> <laughs> just a really yeah. tiny basement, Actually, just packed in the corners. So. Ended up putting my head through the ceiling at one point. <laughs> <laughs> like, then I think guitars were being like thrown around, and there was like a wheelchair too at one point. Oh yeah, that was wild. <laughs> that was fucking <laughs> insane. <laughs> people whipping around. I was that. just like jumping on top of a wheelchair and just like spinning through like crowds of people and just like. That was pure anarchy. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. We, were, we played with uh, Dharma Dogs. Oh, yeah. Fire Retarded and uh, the Hussy actually did like an impromptu. Yeah, that's they right. were, yeah. So they they were I consider it we played with mm -hmm. the Hussy. Cool. <laughs> yeah, that was a fun show. <laughs> so let's talk about uh, your songs. I think this one was my favorite song, yours, Blade Runner. That's oh, mine too. Yeah, I like that a lot. I started listening to like a ton of um, doom metal and I've just gotten like super into Black Sabbath and uh, Judas Priest in like mm. the last couple months. And so I really wanted to write like. A guitar part that like fit like early Black Sabbath, like more like slow and melodic and as heavy as I could get it without down tuning. And then mm -hmm. like it just 
turned into this like epic jam. I yeah, that's know. I don't know because your roommate um, showed me the band Sleep. Yeah, and they uh, Sleep play is, a lot yeah. of what you're describing. Oh and my god, that's kind of what I was trying to envision too. A little bit of like, um, just like some bottom, like just slowed down. Yeah, Alex was just like, let's call it Blade Runner. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just well, I, I had just gotten like done watching Blade Runner for the first time like a few days before I did that. Too. Oh yeah, some Harrison Ford. And like that was nice. the first time I'd ever seen that too. So it was like fresh in my mind. So I was just like, Doom Metal, Black Sabbath, and Blade Runner. <laughs> <laughs> just like <Nice>. perfect. <laughs> yeah, I, st- I still don't even know the words to it. Oh yeah, I have, like the first <laughs> the first verse down, and then I just kind of just go.
for a change. our second song we ever wrote and recorded and it just kind of turned out like pretty good and it's we're, it's real aggressive so we always play it last and I end up going for blood and jumping at Josh <laughs> yeah scratches yeah. all my drums oh, up his drums it. are scratched the fuck up on the top for me alright what's next but that's our scary song Big Book of Tell Me Why there's actually a book called Big Book of Tell Me Why and it's the yeah. only book I'm physically able to read <laughs> mostly pictures that's why <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm dyslexic so like 100%. 
so I just can't read. So what's the big book to tell me why about then the book? It's anything you need to know yeah. why. That you know? that thing will tell you. How fast the cheetah can run? Yeah. <laughs> about a lot of velociraptor shit in there. Mm -hmm. Tell me, I don't know how they know so much about velociraptors, but this book, in depth. Do you know they have feathers? <laughs> I heard that. <laughs> They're like pretty much chickens running around. <laughs> big chickens. Big fucking chickens. Yeah, how, how long would it take a velociraptor to strip a cow? few seconds. Pretty quick. I, think. I actually read Count in the book the that their their jaws drop out of the sockets, kind of like That's a snake. A oh yeah. And they actually it goes right through, and uh, they just shit it out whole as bones, still like in a skeleton form. That's a proven. Yeah, proven and that's fact. why you find huh. so many like skeletons like intact. Like you just brush away the leaves, and mm -hmm. they'll just be like a skeleton of something laying perfectly like how it was shat out. <laughs> <laughs> This, that's the big book of tell you why. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Leaves you shout out with no dignity. <laughs>
It really just came from like, I was like living at, uh, before I like got this new place, I was like mm-hmm. living with my folks and like, it just like, I didn't really do much and like I was there for like a few months and like I just kind of felt like I was trapped in the house. <laughs> That's probably like one of the more meaningful songs that we have for sure. I feel that too. It was, yeah, it's like play a game, play guitar, play a game, either way it's all the same or something like that. And like, I just like pick up my bass and be like. <laughs> it's like same shit, different day. <laughs> I'm like trying to read and be like, I don't want to do this. <laughs> no. Nah. It's just like a state of boredom, I guess. It's but kind of funny though, because I just I just go balls to the wall in that song. Like I go as yeah. fast as I can. Yeah, that was, with like the like lyrics that you have for that. Like that's pretty funny. <laughs> so playing it is the exact opposite of yeah, it's kind of, yeah, yeah. It's, 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 yeah. It's totally like a cathartic release. I feel like. Either way, it's all the fucking sad. 